Hey, oh, it's OmniDog here with another overview of a book I'm really excited about Justice League Dark Rebirth Omnibus. You can get this omnibus, of course, at Organic Price Books. Use code $2 off with code OmniDog. And big savings. Yeah, even I use this. 5% off shipping four or more books together with code OmniDog. Sit. This longy still works, but. You know, you know the drill. Okay, cool. So, I've been waiting for this book. This book, <laughs> Justice League Dark Rebirth. So, I can't give it a review yet because it's been a couple of years since I've read a good chunk of it. And speaking of chunk, this thing's a chonky chonker. It's like 1,500 pages. Uh, the trade dress, though, matches up nicely with Justice League Dark New 52. So you've seen the front and now here's the back. This book is cool. First of all, Magic Wonder Woman. Second of all, well, in a tie for first, Detective Chimp. Uh, oh yeah, Zatanna and uh, Swamp Thing and Man Bat. Okay, sorry. Let's take a look at the book and I bet it's just plain black. Oh, <laughs> DC fooling me. Usually their books are just plain black. Here's what the dust flaps look like. So we can push this out. This is actually really cool. That's got a cool script there. And we've got, while we're here, let's take a look at the, now for a big book, this has to have Really good binding, and it looks perfect. Nice with the eye hole. Uh, so let's take a look at the front. You got Satana, Man Bat, Swamp Thing. Did I call him Man Thing? I hope I called him Swamp Thing. Um, Detective Chimp, Magic Wonder Woman. And th there is the core of them Again, however, I know and remember that Constantine and Dr. F Constantine, sorry, Constantine and Dr. Fate are also in this. So um, let's take a look. I will just give you sort of a, I'm going to give you an overview and just give you a tiny uh, reason why it's so awesome. Now, I, I liked a lot Justice League Dark New 52. It had its ups and downs. This is nothing but up. Because you've got the team of Tiny Onion and Rom V writing it. The art is great throughout, which is what we will be looking at. Um, here is a nice table of contents with the page number but page numbers don't really matter because the art covers the entire page. This is really nice. So, and we will see the various characters. So as you can see, this is a whole heck of a lot of content. And they did us a favor. <laughs> DC doing us a favor? Yeah. They included Endless Winter, which is a pretty darn good story. They, um, I really enjoyed it. So, um, let's see, I'm looking at it. Aquaman. Yeah, that appeared. I read it online and I enjoyed it. So here we have the introduction by Tiny Onion. So these are the main characters of this book. Uh, and we'll go here, but there are others, and there's a lot of Zatana, 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 Zatana. Uh, so you're going to have to be prepared to read backwards, which is a small price to pay. So we go through what happens to make Wonder Woman magic, but we're not there yet. There's Clarion the Witch Boy, there's Constantine. 
And here is Detective Chimp. I am uh, trying not to read this as we go along. <laughs> I know I'm not going to do it page by page, but uh, the art is remarkable. Let's give credit where credit is due. Who are the artists here? Alvaro Martinez Bueno. Bueno. And then a whole bunch of other really good artists and inkers and letterers and... Lee Bermejo did the cover, which is this once again. There. So we get Magic Wonder Woman. And oh, did I see if I, okay, there's Dr. Fate is in this too. We obviously haven't, there he is. Constantine, and I feel, I felt like, yeah, see, it's been a couple years since I read it, but I also feel like Dead Man makes an appearance in The Demon. So we, that's, I'm trying my, oh, look at that. So a word about how big this book is. First, you are going to have to relax this very carefully. Because when you first get it, it stays like this. So you're going to have to really carefully relax it. I relaxed it twice. And then for a little while, I just let it sit like this. Just for a little while. Because otherwise, uh, it's, it, it, it's not, well, as you can see, for a big book, the gutter loss isn't bad. This is a good example here. See, the, it's hard with a book this big to get it perfect. But it's not too shabby. There's Dead Man. I thought so. Okay, we'll go backwards. To totally confuse you. Yeah, there's Dead Man, and I feel like Demon shows up at some point. Now, you're probably going to... This is really good. Uh, you're wondering, what makes this book so good? Well, first of all, Tiny Onion. I don't know how the guy's doing it. He's writing like 12 books at a time and they are all A plus quality. Um, then for towards the, mm, I would say I'm not good with ratios. Less, just less than halfway through he and Rom V co-write some issues and then Rom V takes over. Rom V not only maintains the quality, but I, I know this is heresy, but it, 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 I think it gets even better. It's so interesting and so compelling. And I, I just don't remember there being a weak link in it. You know, like in New 52, <clears throat> uh, Justice League Dark, there was the uh, the Pandora thing that was in the middle of that uh, with Phantom Stranger. And that wasn't, that wasn't the greatest. It could have been better. That sort of interrupted the flow. Oh, speaking of Phantom Stranger, here he is. Um, we need an action figure of Phantom Stranger. Uh, and of Detective Chimp. I mean, come on. Let's get this show going. We need a Detective Chimp. So, uh, yeah, Tiny Onion, then Tiny Onion plus Rom V, and then Rom V e elevates it and makes it even better. -er. That's right, I said it.
So I am, it's going to take a while for me to come out with a complete review. Don't let that stop you from getting this book. You will enjoy this book. Pretty darn sure. No, I am sure. You will enjoy it. Some guys, random guys. And this art is phenomenal. Looks like Riley Rossmo to me. Oh, this book is remarkable. Detective Chimp with a sword. That's the action figure we need. Oh, and I should mention, I'm sure it's $150. Yeah, $150, but of course you can get it cheaper at Organic Price Books. And then even cheaper if you use my codes. I don't know why I'm whispering that. So this gets really deep into original, interesting, occult, Lords of Chaos, mystical beings, remarkably written sorcery, and all kinds of amazing characters. It is... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, look at this team. You get Zatanna... Wonder Woman. I don't know. I could stop right there and it'd be great. This is where they team up. And you can see it's not just a magic, uh, occult type of book, but it's a horror book too. So you get the best of both worlds. It's everything great you want in a comic book. Horror Miss, not sci-fi horror. Oh, and there's Aminal Man, Aminal and Animal Man. So you get uh, horror. You get fun characters. You get sorcery and magic. Characters you care about because it's so big, it goes in depth into the character development. It's not just a bunch of crazy fights. It's crazy fights with characters you care about, you learn to care about, and want to root for. Not sure about Constantine, but, you know, it's so well laid out. It's, it's a compelling read because, as I say, without character development and character, characters you care about, you're just not going to enjoy a book. If it's nothing but action and doesn't give uh, you a chance to understand what the characters uh, are about, what drives them. Here's uh, Edge of, um, what's it called? Winter's Edge, Edge of Winter, Winter is Cold. Um Endless winner. There we go. And I enjoyed this. Um, so it's cool that they put this in. But yeah, as I was saying, as you as you get deep into the weeds sort of in this. Oh, and there's Black Adam. I forgot about that. You you need to have characters that hold your interest. And Tiny Onion and Rom V are exceptionally good at creating characters that you care about. And I haven't seen the demon. I I could have sworn he was in this, but 
Maybe he's on the last page or something. There he is. Okay, one shot. I feel like he's in more of it. So here, here we are with the, the gutter loss. It's a, it's a little tight, but I don't see how you're going to avoid that with a 1,500-page book. Um, I, I think that it's... Uh, this is as good as it gets, quite frankly. It couldn't, I don't, I don't think it could possibly be better. So that's, I'm giving it high praise here. So let's get a good idea. Oh, this art's cool. We've got a good idea of what this book is like. So let's, is that Mr. E? Yeah, it is. I forgot he made an appearance. Okay, so we've established that the art is really boss. Let's take a look and see what type of extras, if any, we are given. Don't want to spoil it, so let's make sure I don't give the ending where it turns out Superman's the Plutonian. No, I'm kidding. Okay, The Making of Justice League Dark, Magic in the DC Universe. Now this is epic because Tiny Onion lays it out here, his guide to magic and personal theories on how it works in the DC universe. This was written while Tiny Onion worked on Justice League Dark. I, I would say start with this, because this, this is remarkable. This is a blueprint for how magic works in the DC universe, and this is how they should be, this is what they should be using in the DC offices. This. So we have character designs. Nice. Look at all these characters. So cool. Fleshoskeleton, skeleton the soup, the mouth. There's Clarion. And we've got some designs, covers, sketches. I feel like in a book this size, that's pretty much, that's really all you can ask in a book like this. Endless Winter Designs. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, so there it is. I I know that I went on and on about how much I liked it. I just am so pleased that DC came up with this, and I think you're really going to enjoy this book. Um, for the new reader, you can start out, boom, just right away. There's nothing you need to know except, you know, these characters and... You should know, if you start with how magic is used in the back in the DC universe, I assume you're going to be caught up to speed on who these people are. Things. Swamp Thing. These Thing Things. And I think it's great that Man Bat's in this, too. So, peace and love. Peace and love. Please don't forget to uh, go to Organic Price Books. Where is that? Yeah, right there. There we go. And uh, $2 off, 5% off. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody uh, who's taking the time and has had the patience while I haven't been feeling well. Today I am feeling well, which is remarkable. Thank you all for your concern and your love and everything. I love you all so much. I appreciate everything that I'm able to do right now. Peace and love, peace and love. Thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, 
uh, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. And uh, like, subscribe, comment. Oh yeah, comments. Please comment. I love reading uh, comments and responding to them. Peace and love. Peace and love.